Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video how to set up the Google Pixel 7 and Google Pixel 7 Pro from the beginning. So the starting configuration. So let's start. The first thing you should do is to turn on the phone. I think that's clear. So just long press the power button here and then it will take maybe one minute and then you will have this view here on uh, your screen. So just uh, choose then the language you want to have. No? Uh, one of the uh, suggested one or one uh, you want to have. Uh, I go with English, uh, with the dialect of the United States. And the second point is, uh, if you have problems to see some, you can enter here some some helping options, uh, like to set up the thing with the with your voice. Um, basically, you don't need that as well. And the emergency call is uh, hopefully also not the thing you are looking for right now. Uh, just in case you can send here directly an emergency call. If everything is okay, just uh, go on the blue button here to get started. And with the next point, you have to set up your Wi-Fi to choose your Wi-Fi here. Uh, choose your, your Wi-Fi box, tap on it, and then enter the password. Okay, after you have done that, just go here on connect. And the phone will continue in a setup. So this could take always one or two minutes. So don't become nervous and so on. I will forward the video right now. Okay, this is the next view we have right now. You can now copy your apps on your data and so on. If you have uh, the, your old phone next to you, just go here on next and follow here the instructions. Now you can connect it with a cable and so on or with Wi-Fi. Um, I don't have actually another phone here next to me, so that's the reason why I go on, on don't copy. Um, you can also go on don't copy because you can do this also later. So I will continue now in the program. So check the stuff you want to have, no? but if you don't have actually everything available, just do it later. You can copy your images and videos and files and so on. Always another time. Okay, now you, we have to sign in with our Google account. The Google account is very necessary because uh, we don't, uh, we cannot have any app without the Google account. And uh, especially at the Google phone, it's part of the game. So enter your Google account right now. After, just go on next. By the way, if you don't have a Google account, you can create one here. Huh? So if you don't have any Google account, create one here. If you have one, just enter like me and go on next. So now enter your password of your Google account, if you have entered one. Okay, in case you have forgotten your password, you can tap here and with your old phone, you can reset it and so on. But we know our password, hopefully. So just tap on next. So now you have to agree the terms and conditions. So now the phone is getting the account info from the internet. So now you can set up some stuff. If you want to use use the location services, you need it because if you want to navigate with Google Maps and so on, um, if the phone is allowed to scan, no, then it will scan always the Wi-Fi networks and so on. And also if the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is turned off, uh, but this is necessary uh, if, um, uh, if you have a watch, no? if you have a Pixel Watch or from another provider, they connect with Bluetooth. So if you turn this off, then it will not work. So the next point is uh, to send uh, the usage and diagnostic data. Here you can say, okay, you don't want to have it because you don't know what's, uh, no? um, so I would recommend to you to remove this one and the updates and um, apps are automatically installed. You have to accept this. Um, now you can set up also something for um, a backup in the Google Cloud. Uh, so this is very good because uh, also your apps um, work with that. Uh, may if you using WhatsApp, your uh, your chat and so on will backup. You have a backup at the Google Cloud, and that gives you more security. If you want, if you're losing your phone, you still have after your data again on the new phone. Um, and we know how important uh, the phone is meanwhile. So most of the important things are in the Google Cloud 
and I recommend to you to have a cloud for your stuff. So just go on, turn on. Then in some countries you have a limited warranty. So if you're living in one of these countries, so just check it out. Go on next after. So then you have to set up pin uh, for the screen, for the lock screen. Huh? If you don't want to have a pin, if you want to have maybe a pattern no, or password with uh, letters and so on, you can choose it here. But I'm also a fan of a pin. I will choose four times the one. Please choose yours and the more secure one. Huh? After just go on next and you have to re-enter the same pin right now. My guess four times the one. Please take yours and go on the blue button to confirm. Then if you want, you can set up a finger uh, print, but this takes too much time. So I will skip that part here. No thanks. But if you want, you can do that. Same with face unlock. No? So it works with the camera. Just recognize your face. No thanks. So I would recommend to you to continue now the setup. He's asking you uh, if, he, if you want to stop it right now. But if you, don't, if you stop it right now, he will disturb you always after and after again. So just go and continue. Then uh, talk to Google hands free. You have to agree to stuff. Teach assistant to recognize your voice. I would skip that part right now because uh, this is, you should do that uh, um, because if you want to use the Google assistant to say, hey Google, then it's better you do that, that he recognizes your voice instead of maybe your neighbor or your friend next to you. Because if he's asking for, hey, Google, he will always um, feel responsible for his words. But if you're doing that, if you agree here, he will, uh, you can teach the phone your voice, your unique, your unique voice. Okay, then you can, uh, um, he's asking you if you want to have also the Google Assistant if the screen is locked, no? The thing with Hey Google and so on. But I have touched you already. Okay, now we soon, and so now you can uh, enable Google Pay. It is starting right now, but um, yeah, this contact payments and so on. You can skip it first, you can do that later. And now he's asking also if you want to um, enable some other stuff may like to change the text size here that's always good now you can uh, increase the text size no? or below you can increase the icon sizes as well no? and everything becomes a bit bigger so just choose the thing you want to have and important is not to tap now on reset settings they did it a bit worse here just as uh, don't tap on reset settings now to confirm tap to confirm on the little back button here and then go on done for now. The rest you can change later also. Huh? So then you can have some tips and tricks here to learn more about the Google hardware. You can um, do that uh, also later. Um, and yeah, sometimes he's giving also you some advices how to navigate and so on. You can do the tutorials like this one here. No? You, you can do the tutorial with the phone. Uh, what you can do here, no? if you want to go to the home screen, just swipe up like me right now. No? Pretty easy. If you want to go a step back, just swipe here like the tutorial has shown you uh, from the uh, from the sides. No? Then you go back one step. And if you want to switch between apps, so some recent tabs, no? so just swipe up, hold your finger a bit, leave it, and then you can swipe, uh, then you can choose with one of the other open apps. Okay, we have solved the tutorial, <laughs> just go on done. I recommend this to you to uh, check it out. And um, yeah, now let's start. So just swipe up, and we are now at the phone, at the Google Pixel phone. He's doing, uh, still doing, completing the setup. Um, he will download some apps and so on. It takes also a few minutes, but it's okay. Uh, just go here also on the Google Play Store to download now your apps you want to have here on the phone. Your Google account is already registered and so on. And yeah, he's asking now also some stuff to enable the Google Assistant and so on. You can do the stuff later again.
yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer a question and uh, help you with uh, set up here for your phone. Uh, I will show you in the next uh, days also some more tips and tricks about the phone if you're interested. And in. uh, if you like this video, if I could help you, can give me something up or leave me maybe a nice uh, comment. I will be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, thank you to watch uh, Phone Phones and more. And uh, yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.